see how this works. I don't typically record on Windows, uh, but <clears throat> the app that I'm going to be demoing here is a Windows app. So to make it work the best, I'm just running it here on Windows. Uh, this is something that we've created here. It's I call it my Splunk app creator. It's just a little Windows thing loaded up, and I can write out where I want to write all. This is basically to create all the Splunk config files. You want to set up a complicated Splunk environment, whatever the case may be. This gives you those options. You just click the right boxes, fill in a few things, and boom, it'll create all the apps that you need to configure your different Splunk environment. So very first thing I want to demo here is it's really simple. Where do you want to write this to? If I go look in my file directory, I'm in that folder. There's nothing there. Nice, clean, empty. We're going to call this Splunk. YouTube, and then I'm going to look at licensing. I've got it checked. It says, hey, you want to make a license server. This will build a license server app. I'm going to say my license server is going to be 192.168.0.128. Give it whatever IP address you want as your license server. That will create the app that you need for licensing. Go and write deployment server. Where's your license deployment server? In this case, for my demo environment, they were one and the same. My deployment server and my license server were the same. If they were different, put a different IP address in there. I've checked to say use deployment server. That means it'll build the app that I need to set up everything to run on a deployment server. I want forwarding. So I just want like uh, search heads to forward data on, cluster master to forward data on, things like that. I'm going to build a forwarding app. I just click that it's already set up. It's going to set up a forwarding app. I'm going to say indexers by default. I have my one indexer here. It was really bad. You should not have your licensing server, deployment server, and all the same. But let's just, this is all for demo purposes. When I'll actually do a live demo of this one time. But I, it takes a lot of virtualization to build all this infrastructure. So and I'm going to make a, so we'll make a nice little, there is my indexer. So I've got three indexers. I'm going to define them. That's good. I'm going to come to my indexer size. I'm going to choose where volume primary is. And I'm going to choose how big I want it. So I want it to be 10 gig. There we go. There's in 10, there, 10 gig. You want it 100 gig. There's 100 gig. That's, that's setting the partition size. Then here are your main indexes that ship with Splunk. I will eventually, I'm going to add on the ability to add more indexes, but this gets the basics. So you have an indexes.com file. You can then st state how big each of these are. So break these up. Say you want this to be 4,096, this one to be 1,024. Cool. I've done that. Now, if I want to make a cluster index, I'm, there's my check mark. What is the label going to be? I'm going to put YouTube label. Anybody who's done a cluster understands you have to call a label, pick your replication factor, search factor. Again, you can leave it alone. It will work. You don't have to put any of these fields in. It'll just run. I want a 3-2. That's default. I have my SIM key for the cluster. So you need to be able to have a key for clustering and you need to have a key for index or discovery. Uh, so if you want to use those, you've got them. Here's the keys by default. This will put the key into the app. And you're good to go. So let's just watch that. I mean, I really did nothing just outside of pick, picking these uh, servers, getting some addresses, picking some sizes that I want to run. I come back to app info. I hit create apps. Successfully created new apps. If I come over here, oh, it did not. So there it is, Splunk demo, Splunk YouTube. It built me a help file. If I go into the help file, I can see instructions for installing apps. Apps be installed on the indexer, so you're going to want to install those four apps on the indexer. What do you install on the search head? You install these six apps on the search head. Install three, these three apps on your cluster master. These two apps on the license server. So let's look at some of these. So we built the cluster master. If I go in there, I got a local file. I go look at the server. There's clustering it's set up, there's the label, there's the mode set up, there's the key set in, the search and the replication factor. It's ready to go. You install it on the system, restart Splunk, boom, your cluster master is running. It's ready to accept new indexers. You come in, go clustering, cluster client. Oops, not the app, the uh, server here. It's There's a cluster, it matches the label, it's now a peer has the same SIM key, restart Splunk, boom, it joins. 
um, then we can do we've got deployment client so right there you look at the deployment client it's all set up it's pointing to the system so you put this on machine it's going to point back to the deployment server you can now start getting stuff deployed to you we've got all forwarder outputs so there's limits your outputs those were built we can go to like for example GUI settings these are this automatically turns on SSL uh, SSL on your systems it starts the web server and sets a timeout for two hours we can if we go the non GUI this this so this would be your search heads and your cluster master things like that but maybe you want the non GUI that's your indexers run a local on a web notice that SSL is on I don't know if you really need that but the start web server is down so the Splunk D interface is off which follows best practice so all of these things are just set up all the configs are done for you license server license client so if I go license server and I look in there I've got it set to be grab a pool license and have everything set up that's the server side the client side points you back similar points you to the correct URI anyway I I'm gonna spend I'm gonna do a few more videos on this uh, look down below I'll point to the github location for this app but the concept was I wanted to make configuring a Splunk instance as easy as possible I'll continue to add more capabilities here be able to change things but I found that it's a lot faster than trying to go into each of those comp files and configure them manually or go into the GUI of Splunk and configuring them. And so I've got pretty much all the configurations I want. Uh, I plan to expand this to search head clustering and things like that. Um, but anyway, so we got licensing, deployment, forwarding, index settings, cluster indexing, all set up for you with just a click of a button. Uh, becomes really easy. And then you just follow the help document to uh, install the, the correct things. And based off what you choose if you turn off licensing the in the help document the licensing will disappear out so it won't it won't tell you about the license client because you didn't want you didn't want to use license server and so this help manual just keeps changing based off the apps you build and it'll only build the apps that you say you want it to build anyway I hope this was helpful I hope this helps you move from being a uh, lame analyst to a Splunk ninja and hope you'll keep coming back